Okay guys, I have not done a relaxer update in a while. So now I'm down to relaxer update number 10. So if you're interested to hear what I have to say, keep watching. Welcome back to the Hair Obsessed Club. Hair Obsessed JC here. So during the year of 2018, I struggled with the hair journey. But as they say, it's a hair journey, right? And you're going to have ups and downs. So I'm here now to speak to you guys about my relaxer update number 10. I spoke with my hairdresser now. One of the things that I mentioned to her is that the Vitaly relaxer that she has been using is not working out. I think that it contributed to some part of my hair being dry. I showed her the sections that look natural, which was a lot in the middle area and the back and on a little on the sides. I showed her on my camera how my hair is so constantly dry and how it was looking the day when I came to her to relax my hair. Now, when she finished relaxing the hair, she took 19 minutes to relax my hair. She did just the new growth, but then she told me, listen, since your hair looked like this, let me just pull through the relaxer a little bit just to help the areas that look so natural to come back to the way it should be. Comment down below if you think that was a crazy thing that she did. As soon as she pulled through, she smoothed it out and she tell me, come right now to wash it out. She didn't spare not even five seconds. She pulled through like this, right, not right down to the end, up to the section that she saw look natural. And then she tell me, come right now to wash it out because it doesn't take that long to process. From since October 14th, I've added a few things to my regimen, especially the castor oil. Now, I struggled a bit during October when I started the castor oil challenge and then I gradually got my stuff together. I've been consistent using a few products and I've seen a major difference. I don't have that dryness anymore and I've incorporated a few things in my regimen. I have a new regimen which I'll speak to you guys in another video. So when I spoke to her, I told her that the Vitaly Green Box was not working out for me. It's not working out for my texture. So because she only carries two types of hair relaxer in her salon, it's the Vitaly and one called Organics. I have tried to get the Vitaly Pro on my own and I was not successful. So she tried the Organics on my hair. I still look like I have textured hair, but it's not that bad. I'm gonna continue with my regimen and see how well that works out for me. I haven't seen any shedding as yet. Comment down below if you think what she did was crazy and if I might have breakage soon. I've been thinking about that, but I'm not gonna stress myself over that anymore. So now I'm using the organics. A lot of you guys commented um, in my one of my videos that which relaxer I should use. Some said the cream of nature was awesome. Some spoke about the ORS and some other brands that I did not. I could have gotten, but I just was trusting what the hairdresser said. I have been deciding to just trust what the hairdresser says since they are the professionals and I am not a hair specialist. I am on a healthy hair journey and these are some of the things that happen. People have setbacks. So I'm hoping that 2019 is my year and I see an overall better health and length in my hair. I'm now focusing on the health and I hope you guys are with me. Thumbs up this video if you're with me for 2019. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's all I wanted to come out and speak to you guys about. So hashtag Hair Obsessed Club. Check out my other videos in the cards above. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.